reading is for, uh, where are we, Susan, Susan Johnson. Okay, Susan, thank you so much for this, this is great. So, Susan is asking about soul mission, life purpose, and also just talking about the job that you've been doing, um, where you resigned recently, resigned from a non-profit, and, but still want to do something that empowers people this time, empowers people rather than enables them, but also helps you to grow spiritually and intellectually. Okay, right, so, Susan, there are a couple of feelings that I got, and you say that you want spirit to show you a path, and I want to remind you that it's for you to choose a path that you feel you would find fulfilling. So there are a number of options that could be offered to you and it's up to you to feel your way through them and to trust that what you want is okay. I feel you're a little bit hung up on um, feeling bad about letting go of that work. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad because yes there is work here for you. There is work here for you that involves feeling good and empowering others to also feel good. And I'm hearing coaching and teaching, that feels quite powerful and I've got goosebumps <laughs> when I talk about that, but again, it's your free will choice. You are very good at empowering people, you're very good at supporting people, and I do also feel that you've done a lot of supporting and it's taken a lot out of you because I feel that you've done that in other environments as well, apart from the one that you shared with me in your um, message. So I feel that there's been a long history of that and it's been lovely, it's been a blessing. It's, you know, it has helped people. Please don't get down on yourself about that either, thinking that you were just enabling, you know, you've contributed, you've done wonderful things in the world. Um, let's put the timer on. Um, but yes, it's time for a change. It's time for you to release the burden, is what I'm hearing. And um, it's, I, that's kind of a controversial thing to say because, uh, you know, it sounds as if I'm saying don't be compassionate and that is not what I'm saying. Um, it's just that there comes a point where your vibration is so at odds with that way of working that it would actually make you even more exhausted to go back and do something like that. So I feel that I want you to just take your time deciding but to consider those options and speaking of teaching it looks like um, it looks like teaching adults it doesn't look like going into a school or learn it looks like teaching something you really believe in as well and I'm seeing a room full of couches where people are on the couches and it's either Reiki or massage and I feel you're standing there in the room looking over at what people are doing so that looks like another option so I don't know whether you've actually done a Reiki I feel as if you may have done one one stage of Reiki and um, and it doesn't have to be Reiki specifically but it feels as if giving instruction in that therapeutic context could also be an option so coaching and teaching therapists healers that sort of thing. These are things that feel that they could be really good for you. I have to say you're also a very, very switched on intuitive. And that's a weird way to describe an intuitive. Switched on. In other words, um, they're just kind of elaborating, that you actually have good control over it. You're not just a psychic sponge picking up on everything, although it felt like that doing the job, and that's one of the reasons it exhausted you, but you do have some faculties that enable you to go through a process w through which you open up to spirit to receive guidance, and then you close down again. I don't know whether you do this naturally or you've had some training, but I see the third eye, I'm seeing um, the indigo, and I'm seeing the third eye open up and I'm seeing you close it down. I feel you've had to learn some skills because you are so sensitive. So that's another possibility. These are all possibilities. Just flow with them for a while until something feels really good. I'm going to shuffle for you and um, you know <laughs> they're showing me the past as well in Atlantis. They're saying that all of these three things have elements of something that you were doing 
way, way back in the past. You're a natural teacher, okay? And um, I'm just going to leave it there. But you're also, you know, that third eye thing. Don't overlook any of that. There are ways and means to bring all of these things together. They're saying <laughs> ways and means. I know all about spirit and their ways of me, ways and means of doing things. So just trust the answers are coming, Neo. Just, you know, sit with it. Um, right, so let's just see what we've got here. Let's do uh, past, present and future with those cards. Let's do the advice cards from the um, angels, gods and goddesses. Feels about right. Okay, and one at the top for the outcome. Great. So, leading up to this point, circumstances leading up to this point, a life review. So you've been looking at everything, thinking, oh, you know, where do I go next? What am I going to do next? You did mention the age thing, which I'm not going <laughs> to say. Um, you know, all of these uh, factors are coming into play now and you're thinking, you know, there's a, another shot for me, I know. There's another chance for me. There's another whole lot of avenues waiting to open up for me. I know that there are more things possible, that I'm drawing a line under one chapter and I am beginning a new one. So what needs to stay and what needs to go? And the part of you that needs to stay stay is the part of you that feels you can be of some benefit in this lifetime and feel good and the part of you that needs to go I feel there's a, you know I've got that sick feeling that I get in my stomach when something is just not right it's that feeling of being put upon there's an old energy there that seems to have come through the female line they're saying mother grandmother of being put upon of kind of letting people take advantage. I'm not going to say that as being the reality of what's always happened here. I don't want you to see it that way. You've given wonderful things to people and that is a wonderful thing, but it's how you experience it because of this family dynamic is that it often feels that way. It often ends up feeling that way because there have been times in the past where you haven't known how to draw the line. You haven't known how to switch off. So notice that it's it's been a wonderful opportunity for you to know, to learn those things because you do know now how to open up and close down psychically. I don't know whether you were aware of that, but you know, see it for what it is. Life review, time for change, perfect. Now, the most important influence at this time, and they're saying the next two months as well, what you need to focus on. So they already know what's under here. <laughs> Gifts from God. It's about looking into your spiritual gifts. Just as they kind of said at the beginning, you want to be looking at what have I got here? What have I been given that I can use? Or what have I got a hint of that I might have been given? What could I develop, you know? And it's okay for you to say, which of these gifts do I feel most excited about developing? It's not about a should to do with, I should be of service and this is how I can do it. It's something that brings you joy. It's something that makes you feel happy when you think about it. I kind of see you standing in a room teaching people and laughing, making jokes and bringing some of your personality to it again. <laughs> They're saying she's a bit of a joker when she wants to be. Okay, so that's great. So that's another gift from God, you know, the gift of being able to uplift people. The, the, it was all a bit humorless, I've got to say, you know. So that's another thing that's going to start coming back in. And a lot of your humour does come from the guides and angels around you. You've got a lot who are very playful. And um, the message actually says, Archangel Samuel, uh, it's the angel on the card, and it says, we angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. So this was meant to happen. This is divine timing. They want you to receive these new gifts and these new avenues of expression in your work and, you know, allow yourself to be guided. And when it comes to the nuts and bolts of, you know, what you were saying about wanting it to, to support you, you ask for help with that as well. And it's okay for you to be developing and to developing spiritually and also to have your common sense you know engaged about right okay so how am I going to take care of all the things I need to take care of am I going to do this um, kind of this studying 
in the evening until I get a bit more sure of it. Am I going to do my research in at the weekends? You know, am I going to get things started slowly like that? But they're saying it really is time for you the next couple of months to to get clear about what which of your gifts you enjoy using the most and what feels therefore the most like what you were destined to do. And then you're going to move into a period of nurturing yourself and I feel that this nurturing is going to be also a part of your learning, your studying. So it's possible that you will be going into looking at, looking more deeply at a healing modality and, um, and that will be wonderful because while you're studying you'll be also receiving. Um, so that seems to be a part of this kind of, um, uh, you know, thing that they're creating, this whole plan <laughs> that they seem to be creating co-creating they're saying with you <laughs> yeah okay whatever so um and the advice okay angel of expression speak your truth and express yourself clearly very very important for you to be able to say now what works and what doesn't work for you and this is in terms of you know not always being there um, at everyone's beck and call in that particular way anymore because for the time being you need to take care of yourself and it's okay to express that to say it don't be afraid of of being who you are either don't be afraid of having these unusual beliefs the world is changing dramatically you know it's okay this is going to be I feel possibly a slight challenge for you to speak your truth about your spiritual beliefs and be open about it but that's okay you can you can wade in slowly you're going to be fine the angel of healing okay the god of spiritual healing rather so healing is quite a theme for you both giving and receiving um you are receiving healing at the moment to help you to re-energize after that sort of traumatic time so you know get those early nights get the water you know drink lots of water take it easy with yourself when you feel them coming around you when you feel that sort of warmth around your head they're saying <laughs> they're saying we give her this warm feeling around her head because it feels to me as if that was one of the areas uh, where you were uh experiencing the stress the stomach as well Okay, Susan, sorry about that. I had to change my battery. So just to finish up, you get this feeling around your head, this feeling of warmth, and it's it's your guides and your angels just trying to encourage you to, to bring you healing and to just keep your thoughts positive and uplifted and to just support you in this transition. And your outcome card is the angel of guidance. That is just so beautiful. <gasps> Ah, oh, absolutely perfect. So if you follow all of this, okay, uh, the point of this one was they want you to just accept the healing. So when you feel those energies around you, if you're busy, stop what you're doing, sit down or lie down and just feel and absorb and enjoy those energies, okay? And um, you might feel a fluttering around the stomach as well um like butterflies they're, they're doing that as well sometimes um but it seems mostly around your head just receive 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 and don't be afraid to speak up speak your truth and in support of yourself be your own greatest ally at the moment okay be your own um enabler <laughs> no empower yourself okay and the angel of guidance this is your outcome. A renewed sense of direction and purpose will soon manifest. Don't rush it. Don't force it. There's not an awful lot you need to do. You need to give yourself a couple of months breather and exploration time. Breathing, healing and exploration. And that doesn't mean to say, when I say, you know, there isn't an awful lot you have to do, I'm uh, not saying be inactive definitely do the research start planning start thinking things through definitely be moving forward have some momentum there don't sort of come to a stop but don't you know don't do it in a panicky or rushed way breathe through it and make sure there are lots of spaces in the activity when you can just be still and hear the voice of spirit speaking to you and guiding you and it will evolve perfectly in divine timing okay my lovely i hope you enjoyed that and um take care please let me know uh whether it resonated put a message under the video and share away to your heart's content okay take care bye <laughs>